up guys? Day two, Colorado. I'm training at the famous Amherst Pro Gym. About to get an intense back workout with my awesome coach Adam from Team Elite Physique. Man, he is not taking it easy on me. I'm telling you guys, his workouts are freaking next level. So I'm gonna do back, I'm gonna do cardio, and yeah, maybe some posing or something, we'll see. And then maybe another workout later in the day. Because if I'm here training with my coach Adam in Colorado, I'm gonna make the most of it. I'm trying to get to where I need to be. I have goals to accomplish. But anyway, enough of the chatting, let's go. body scan first because if I get pumped up and stuff I don't want to throw off my measurements so Adam are you ready I'm a little nervous I always get nervous to these measurements and stuff this is gonna kind of decide you know if I'm able to compete in the next like month or not so lots riding on the scan yes I'm, I'm excited I know the answer the outcome already but I can tell how you look I okay you're gonna be happy with all right it, so. all right we'll see <laughs> so this isn't getting my body fat this isn't getting my weight this is only getting measurements, measurements. correct yeah we want to see if your proportions are changing the way we need them to, mm -hmm. we want the glutes staying very similar to the size, we're yeah. leaning out, we want the waist kind of coming down as much as possible. Um, we want the thighs to, to taper all the way down and keep that ice cream cone taper so we're not ice developing the quads too much. Right. Um, we want the, the shoulders to stay wide, we want everything, so we'll, we'll see how it's going. But based on how you're you're looking, I mean, you got ab vein. I do. Ab vein. Well, it's not popping right now, I'm a little cold, it's Colorado, <laughs> but you know. Four weeks, four weeks out, yeah, no problem. I do have a V muscle. You're you're gonna be yeah you're gonna be fine. Has not been an easy prep? But no. <laughs> you're gonna be fine. All right, are you ready? Fun. All right, let's see what we got. So this is gonna be exciting to see all the past scans I've done. This is where you can really see progress. It's pretty incredible. So let's it's very go. motivating. Yeah, six, six months ago, now. Yeah, it's pretty pretty significant difference, especially in the glutes. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. You were those rap videos back then. Yeah, I should have should have applied for the rap video back then. I have no chance now. <laughs> yeah, they kick you out now. That's pretty significant, actually. The good thing is you store body fat in the right places, because even then your waist was tiny. But you can see like the difference of your thighs yeah. touching and not touching now. 21.6 on, on total body loss on the on the neck and arms. <laughs> but yeah. only, only 0.6 on the neck and arms. Um, and then... The torso was 16 inches. You lost the legs was five inches. Okay. If cool. if you're if you wanted to go four weeks out, like, oh, if yeah. you wanted to be four weeks out, you could be. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Good to know if I wanted to compete. You know, like next. Just like Tony. Oh. Yeah, you're like losing body fat and gaining muscle, mm -hmm. which is what needs to happen. Yeah. And so it's a good thing. You mm -hmm. can you can just tell visually by the pictures too. Mm -hmm. So let's like look at the pictures so you can visually see it. Too. Yeah. That's important. <laughs> Another scan here or a body fat tester, right? That's yes. what it's called. So this is what I'm about to go into is what's the special name of it? In body. body, In body. Yeah, it's bioelectrical impedance. Okay. So this is gonna tell me my muscle weight, my muscle. body fat, and what else? That's, that's basically what we're looking for. Okay. So what we're looking for really is is she so we went a lot harder this time with the diet. We're seeing are we paying a price for it with losing lean body mass with the harder diet? We never want to, have to pay the price, but we're losing more than about 20%. No matter what you do, you're gonna lose some lean body mm -hmm. mass. And a lot of that isn't purely muscle. Some of that's just like blood volume from total water right. and stuff from having less total amount of mass. Mm -hmm. But um, so basically we're looking at for every one pound, we don't wanna lose more than 0.2 of right. any lean mass. So we'll see that, we'll see water, total water uh, mass, and we'll see body fat percentage. So the goal is hopefully she loses in the last three weeks, three pounds of pure fat and 0.6 pounds of pure of lean mass. That's, that would be the perfect scenario. So we'll see. <laughs> and this also measures my weight too, but I don't want to know my weight because it freaks me out. <laughs> not that it's a bad number, it's just if it's not the number I want. It's not a it's not a bad number like. because at one point we got stuck at the same weight. Yeah, we so I don't want that to happen. We were both super frustrated <laughs> for like three weeks. That was four weeks. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> oh, I want to see it. Okay, right? I already knew that she was gonna say that. That's why I was like, oh. 
Okay, protect the number, protect it. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> first I want to go into your first starting percentage of body fat in mm -hmm. November when you first came out here, November 2nd, uh -huh. and that was 23.7%. Now, as I told you before, most pro bikini girls, true body fat percentage on stage is around 14%, okay. true body fat. So a lot of, they, they think they're at like 10%, but true body yeah, fat is like 14 yeah, yeah. Some of them even 15%. They like the sump for the gram. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> Everyone thinks. They do that body fat caliber or something. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's 9%. Had, had their uncle do their body yeah. fat. But this is the real. This is the real this deal. This is the real deal. I've only seen one female who was a women's physique competitor actually get to sub 10%, and a true sub 10%. Okay. And she was shredded. So anyway, 23.7 um, was your starting point. You're currently at 16.5. Okay. Okay. So, so I lost like 5.5, I'm sorry, 0.5. Since the last time you were here, you lost 1.2%. I thought it was at 17. 17.7. Oh, so it was almost 18. All right, so now we're going to train some back. Coach Adam over here is going to kill me here. We're going to do a lower back modification here. Okay, show you. Like this. So rounding the lower back. Guys, if you are wondering why I didn't like have an outro to the gym video, it's because like I literally had a breakdown. I don't know if anybody else has experienced these before. I'm sure you have, but I guess like the pressure was just getting to me and I started doubting myself. Like after my scans, I was not so sure that I was making the progress that I wanted to make. My coach was happy with the results, but for me, I guess I had a certain goal in mind and I didn't necessarily hit it. And at first it didn't like bother me and it didn't hit me but then when I was working out I started thinking about it more and more and I had some self-doubt and I just couldn't hold it and I just started crying like in the middle of my workout and I couldn't even finish so yeah it, it was kind of a weird moment for me I guess because it's you know I'm not really that emotional of a person and I don't really cry that often especially for something silly but the pressure probably lack of sleep I'm cranky I'm prepping so I'm kind of like crying for no reason, but uh, you know, after I had a little sit down with my coach, you know, he, he gave me some positive advice and I think I'm a little too hard on myself sometimes to be honest. And I think that can be a good thing sometimes and also a bad thing because in cases like this, it hindered me from like getting to where I wanted to be with my workout because um, I, you know, had too much doubt in my mind. But at the same time, it's good because I'm like a perfectionist and I'm going for a certain goal and if I don't hit it, it makes me mad. It makes me angry and sad. So if you're wondering, that's the reason why. But I am human after all at the end of the day and I, I can't expect a perfect workout every time. I can't expect perfect results every time. Um, there's gonna be some weeks where I'm not gonna make much progress. But at the end of the day, progress is progress. Even if it's slow progress, everything takes time. So, I don't know, I'm feeling a little better now, so I think I'm gonna rest up, and I'm gonna finish a workout later. Probably won't film it, because I'm still a little, like, you know, shaken up, I guess you could say, but I'm gonna finish it tonight, and then start again tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.